Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. So I thought I would crack open this kit and uh, start building it as a break from doing ships and something perhaps a little bit simpler. This is, uh, as you can see, Airfix's um, SDK Z234 armoured car, uh, 176 scale and it's part of their vintage classic range. Um, I'm not sure that I ever built this as a kid. Um, I'm pretty sure that I didn't. Tiger and Panther from Airfix, yes, and Sherman's and the quite 25 pounder and the um, the Bren gun carrier with the is it the six pounder, definitely, uh, and the German scout set. But I don't recall building this. Let's just have a quick look at the back. So as you can see, it would appear we get some figures with this uh, three German troops, and we get the armored car itself. Uh, with just the one decal option. Now I've got an idea that um, that this particular vehicle wasn't mass manufactured and I'm sure I read somewhere the suggestion that this was just a um, field modification where they got an armoured car and they threw a um, 75mm anti-tank gun on there so those who know better will be able to tell me whether that's true or not. Um, on the side of this we've got uh, the flying arrows that I mentioned in my video about uh, joining the Airfix Club. So that will be added to my um, flying arrows passport in order to go towards a, a free kit. So having a look at the sprues, um, <clears throat> on this sprue we have the road wheels, the anti-tank gun and I, as there's eight of those uh, circles there, I assume that to go on the uh, hubcaps at the centre of the wheels. We've got the um, indicators, and this looks like it's the um, the base for the anti-tank gun. Airfix kindly finished this in a uh, brown because of the desert colours. Here we have the suspension, three German troops that I mentioned. They actually look as if they're the crew for the anti-tank gun. The anti-tank gun shield, the deck for the um, armoured car, and this is going to be the uh, part of the carriage for the uh, anti-tank gun. Interestingly these parts are separate um, and not on the sprue, which um, is a bit unusual, but these are the sides of the um, armoured car. Some nice detail on there. Here we have some of the um, mud guards. Uh, this is for the front of the armoured car. I've got to assume that that's part of the base for the inside of the armoured car. This is going to be the very front and these going between the uh, mud guards, I think. Steering wheel and um, gear stick. Finally on the sprues we have suspension, more mud guards. Um, not quite sure what that's for this part here. That looks like a shell rack, sorry that looks like a shell rack. And I think that might be somewhere in the interior of the armoured car. Just the one decal choice. Looking at the instructions, it looks like, a, as I say, a straightforward build. Um, I'm hoping to have this done reasonably quickly, uh, just to just to have a bit of fun and enjoy putting a model together, which for me is what all these old Airfix kits are about, to be honest. So that's basically it, guys. So. With these videos, what I, what I do is I do the introduction to the, the, the kit and the build, and then the next part will be part way through the construction, so I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Okay, well, um, unfortunately I didn't get any shots of uh, the construction of this kit. I basically just got really into it, and uh, before I knew it I'd got it painted and um, was weathering it, so um, sorry about that guys. Once I completed it, there was an issue. Um, I couldn't 
quite fathom what was wrong with the gun. It seemed to be sitting further forward than it should be and initially I thought that it was just uh, it, that that's the way it should be built and that the box art was just um, an imagined uh, picture if you like. Uh, but then when I went on the internet I had a look and uh, everybody else's build looked identical to the, bo the box art so um, it was obviously I'd done something wrong. Now initially I thought that uh, these um, supports for the gun um, I'd put them in backwards um, but again looking at people's builds on the internet that wasn't the case. Then I thought that this floor plate perhaps was um, too far forward um, but again looking at my build there was only one place it could really fit and I was scratching my head and scratching my head and I almost thought to myself I'm going to take these off even though it's all fully built take these supports off and turn them round so the gun would be uh, further back and then I noticed the position of this shield um, on other people's builds now as you can see the arrow indicates that it goes there but if we have another look at uh, one of the instruction pictures you'll see that that's not the right location so I basically put the shield here where it was indicated on the previous uh, step but the shield needs to go back here and with that the shield is behind the sides of the vehicle whereas when I'd finished construction the shield was in front of the sides of the vehicle so so I managed to get the shield off um, there was little damage to the barrel but um, it looks much better now uh, I finished my build in the all over Dunkel Gelb I didn't bother doing any camo on this and the other thing is um, just to show it off I've borrowed the base from the Wesp the Matchbox Wesp that uh, I did the other day so without further ado I will show you my SDKFZ234 from Airfix. So here it is guys, um, as I say the base is from the Wesp. Once I started this kit I just uh, couldn't put it down, I was having so much fun with it. I've mentioned the problem I had with the, the gun shield but that's, that's now resolved and so it's looking much better than it did. Basically the gun shield was forward here where that point is there so it was way too far forward and it, it almost gave the vehicle too high a silhouette which made me wonder if something was wrong. The vehicle was as I say finished in the Dunkel Galb from Vallejo uh, then it was given a sludge wash, no sorry, then it was sealed with clear, decals were put on, uh, decals were sealed with another coat of clear, once that was dry I gave it a sludge wash of black, once that was dry I wiped most of it up with um, cotton tips and then once that was done I started the process of using a lighter yellow in order to create some of the scratches and then some of those uh, lighter yellow scratches were um, given a dot of uh, chocolate brown. In the past I've used um, German camo brown but I couldn't find that bottle so I used um, chocolate brown instead and then some of those brown um, dots were given a, a metallic dot to make it look as if whatever hit the vehicle chipped the paint and then basically took the um, the primer the red oxide primer away so it got down to the bare metal. I'll zoom in a bit so you can see it a bit closer but in doing so obviously you'll see some mistakes. As I say, that's um, showing perhaps some of the chipping a bit better. Um, perhaps I overdid it in some sections, but I was having loads of fun doing it. So um, this back section here, what I tried to make out there was that's where the crew were clambering up and across, and then over the rear deck of the vehicle to jump inside. The only other thing I would point out <coughs> is that these hubs, um, the very centre, that's a separate piece to the rest of the wheel. Now those are supposed to be, that centre is supposed to be flush with the rest of the hub. Now, I don't know what it was but um, they just wouldn't push flush and at one stage I, I nearly snapped one of the um, suspension arms for the for the road wheel off. 
<clears throat> because I was trying that hard to get that piece in so I just basically left it and um, they are sticking out slightly. So there we go guys another build to add to the shelf another classic airfix kit um, under my belt um, <clears throat> there are one or two others that I've still got to get um, they did a Panzer IV and they did a Stungerschutz um, which I'm hoping to get at some stage there's also the um, <clears throat> the duck, the World War II duck um, that the Allies used um, to invade Normandy and also they used them to continue to transport goods from uh, ships uh, back to uh, back to the uh, the shore so that's another one I've got to get um, that's just three off the top of my head um, so yeah and then I've got the classic kit uh, aircraft to do as well so I'm really looking forward to those anyway guys uh, thanks ever so much for watching and I'll uh, catch up with you soon